tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the vocoder and how to get some neat results from it. To begin, the vocoder works by taking two sounds, one from a modulator and one from a carrier, and then splitting them. The modulator signal is split up into many tiny bands, and then an image is made, and then the carrier is split into an equal number of bands and sonically molded to fit the modulator. This is what creates the sound of an instrument emulating a human voice, like a talking synthesizer kind of sound. But the vocoder by itself won't do anything until you have the carrier and the modulator. Now in order to save time in this tutorial, I'm just using the vocoder template that's found in the file menu under templates. We'll go over more about setting up the vocoder in the routing tutorial. So this first example I want to take a look at involves using the FPC as the carrier. Typically you would want to use a synth as the carrier in order to use notes to make the instrument talk, but I want to look at some more unconventional uses for the vocoder. So what we'll do is right click on this instance of the SimSynth plugin, and we'll choose replace, and then we'll just choose the FPC. And now since the SimSynth is already routed to channel 3 as the carrier, the FPC will now take its place. Now on the FPC, what we'll do is just go ahead and load a groove. Now when playing around with this technique, I would suggest setting the vocoder to 4, 8, or 16 bands. The reason for this is that as the band amount gets larger, the uh, sound will get smoother. Usually when you use a synth, you would want to select a higher band amount to give a smooth sound, but since we're using non-musical sounds, in this case percussion, I'm going to select a lower band setting to give us more of a hard edge kind of sound. Now I'm also going to be using some different samples in the FPC, which I've already saved as pad presets. They're just some 707 emulation kind of sounds. I mean, this is just because the default sounds in the FPC sound kind of weak before they're processed. So as I play this example, you'll see the effect as I change the band count. I'll also adjust the carrier and modulator gain, as well as the gain on the different frequencies. So we saw as how the band count got higher, the sound became smoother, and when we got to a lower band count, the sound became more raw. Now this is something that you'll have to play around with depending on your uh, modulator source as well as the samples that you're using. Now using the same principle, we could also use a sampler instead of the FPC. To do that, we'll just right click on the FPC, and then again choose replace, and then sampler. Then I'll just go over here to the browser and uh, we'll look for Now I'll play this example and one thing to point out when you're using a sample unlike the normal sampler function the key that the sample is played on has no effect. The vocoder will work with the original sample so you'll see as I play this I'll move the note up and down the keyboard and the sound won't change. So I'll just go in here, erase all this, we'll just draw that out.
And again, this is going to require you to play around with the settings depending on your sample and the modulator. Now, another tip that I have for working with the vocoder is to double up or triple up on carriers. Now, again, to save time, I'm just going to work with the sounds that we already have here for this example. First, what I want to do, go back in here and we'll replace this again. And uh, what was that? Stim synth on Holly Bright. I'm just going to go back here and copy from pattern to put this back on. Actually, what we can do is we'll just take, for example, we'll take pattern two and pattern three. So I'll just copy this from pattern three, put it on pattern two, and go in and delete these. Draw this back in. So we'll go ahead and take a listen. All your days are belong to us. 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 Your you can see how combining different synths will definitely add some more depth and of course you can experiment with different options and different synths and create whole new sounds. The last thing that I want to point out is that you can use the hold function on the vocoder to create some interesting changes. While I'm playing this example, I'll pull up the vocoder and press the hold button along the way and you'll see how this will hold the vocal part that's playing, but it will still go through the key changes as I hold the button down. All your bass are below. All your All your bass are be Your bass are belong to us. All your bass are belong to us. All your base. All your base. And something like that might be useful when combined with automation throughout a song. So those are just a few uses for the vocoder. And again, it's definitely something you'll need to experiment with. It's really a cool little toy and has a lot of potential, especially if you're doing electronic music. And remember, we'll discuss more about setting up the vocoder in the routing tutorial. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.